Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We just got into camp here. As you saw, we got the tent and everything set up. Let me know in the comments what you think of this Gazelle tent or if you have one. Um, how's your experience with it been so far? This is my first outing in it, so uh, we'll see how that goes. Normally we're used to the rooftop tent or the runaway camper, so this should be a nice uh, change of pace. And so far for me, for the setup, this is way better. Um, the main thing with the rooftop tent is now that the truck's lifted on 35s, if I want to do anything, I, I got to climb up onto the bed, onto the tent, and you know tuck the fabric in when I'm putting it up, or I got to climb up in there and inflate the mattress. This is all done on the ground. It's just easier to get to. Um, this teardown is going to be a lot easier. I already set it up once in my backyard and tore it down, but um, it's going to be a lot easier. And uh, as far as the MPG on the truck, those of you who left comments about that, um, made zero difference at all. It was exactly the same. If not a hair worse, um, that could have just been from the wind. Um, it might not have been windy when I went to Virginia, but it was a little windy today. So I think the truck was at 16.7, I'm sorry. Yeah, 16.7 miles to the gallon. So it's about the same. Um, so there's that. Uh, we're gonna hang out here for a little while, just chill out, watch the grass grow. And uh, later on tonight, we'll cook some supper. So we opened up a bag of, um, some yellow corn chips. I'm going to heat up some of the spinach dip we got. And I want to try out this new stove that I got from Fire Maple. This thing looks really cool. You can use it as a stove and a heater. So um, this whole line comes with the stove. So we're going to dump the spinach dip in the cup, set it on there, and let's see how fast it heats it up. So we noticed that the chips taste a little stale. Looked at the expiration date. Six. 26th of September 2023 so that's uh, today's December 8th by the way a couple months old and then we open this it's all, it's all crusty up there looked on that February 14th 2022 for those of you watching this video later on today is December 8th 2023 so um little pro tip if you get some snacks from a Jiffy store here in Blue Ridge, check the expiration date, because uh, they might be a year old, so. What's for supper, you might ask? It is same at Campbell's Chunky Sirloin. And uh, I'm gonna use the stove, heat that up, see how it goes. So far, pretty good. I'm mean, thinking it's really hot. I mean, really, really hot. So I'm sure it'll heat it up pretty quick. So I just put the second can on. Uh, the first one took about maybe three minutes and nice and hot. Pretty nice little camp stove if you're cooking up something small like that. You just need a single small can of propane. I'll go vice. 32 years old.
What's up guys? Good morning. Hope you guys are uh, doing well. Man, we had a rough night last night. All th all thing all together it was a rough night. Um first the fire. I went through like four starters of fire uh, fire starters. Could not get nothing to catch. I had the big Bowie knife out making kindling off some firewood. Nothing. Wouldn't catch it all. And then uh so we ended up not having a fire because we went through all the starters we went through all the branches we could get all the kindling and then now today obviously it's soaking wreck because it's going to be raining all day so no fire then we hooked up our uh, extension cord to the uh, panel over here to heat up our heated blanket the panel didn't work thought maybe it was the cord of the blanket but i plugged it into the power station um and it worked fine so the outlet um on the panel over here wasn't working luckily uh, my dad brought another extension cord and we had just enough between the two cords to reach the next site over um it was i mean we were within a foot of being short so that worked out all right uh another thing is apparently last time we went out we went to virginia up to overland expo east um apparently i lost one of the seals on the camp mattress there's like where you put the air into the mattress, there's two round seals that close it up when you're done. And I guess I lost one of them and the mattress deflated probably three times overnight. I had to get up, pump it back up again. Um, that was rough. And then uh, I think we're probably gonna call it today. I paid for two nights at the spot, but it's supposed to rain like this until about noon. And then tomorrow from midnight to noon, we're gonna get like three inches. And um, I don't want to pack up the tent in the rain because it's going to rain till noon. I got to be home tomorrow. So I think we're going to call it here, wait a little bit, get everything packed up and head back to town. Plus our site is starting to flood a little bit. It's getting real muddy. Uh, there's no grade to this area. So this water is just standing. So if it's like this now, give another three inches and a whole day of rain and it's going to be unbearable. Um, so anyway. Like I said, we had just enough uh, cord to run to the box. Can you see it? No. Let's see. There you go. That box there, that one works. Ours did not. So also planning on doing some trails today, heading up to the um, Georgia Traverse, but honestly, it's gonna be hard to film because it's raining. It's going to be hard to put the drone up, even if it stops raining, because it's just going to be foggy all day. You're not going to be able to see anything. I'll be able to see very little. So it's just going to be not, not a good time to go do it. So we'll have to uh, do that another time. Maybe come back with some of you guys that um, know this area a little bit more. Come up with us. But um, I think we're just going to call it a day, get packed up, and skedaddle. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.